In the year of our Lord, 2015, the career of one talk show host was crushed, and along with it, his hopes and dreams. His path to stardom was arduous, filled with trials and tribulations. This story is known today as The Passion of the Ross. The Midnight Parade is condemned to death. Show it, uh... You're damn straight to your last show, Ross! Oh my god, you guys! Uh, Mr. Second City, the owner of Second City is <laughs> Yes! And... Get the fuck out! <laughs> Tyler seeks solace from his mother. Tyler, I don't know why you moved to Chicago if you weren't gonna take comedy seriously. But classes are really expensive. Are you saying you're too good for it? Tina Fey went there. Are you saying you're better than Tina Fey? No, Mom, I'm just... <laughs> Never mind. I love you. Sure. Dylan of Schomburg helps bear the burden. Need some help, man? Oh, God, Dylan, thank you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's nowhere to do the show. Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Hello? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, no, I could be there in a minute. Thanks. So, uh, I just got booked on a show that actually pays. I'll see you later, man. Tyler's new venue falls through. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many comedians come into my office and pitch me on the new shows? Ah! Just go before you embarrass yourself. <laughs> Tyler is stripped of his suit jacket. I'll give you like two dollars for it. Tyler meets the women of Chicago. Tyler falls in love. I don't think I can be with someone who doesn't even have their own show. I can't, how am I supposed to brag about dating a comedian if I can't even take people to see you? Tyler gives up. Comedy! Why have you forsaken me? This is perfect! <laughs> <laughs>